Hello everyone, welcome back to Seki Pocket, and this is the $10 soldering iron that I bought off of eBay. Now, if you're going to buy the soldering iron for $10, I would recommend you make it a $15 purchase and get the one-year warranty that eBay offers, because that will definitely protect this cheap soldering iron from breaking in the future, as I don't really know how good its uh, reliability is. Now, this product does not come with any type of holder like the more expensive soldering irons do, but for $10, I don't think you should expect that. You can just use a cup. On the soldering iron itself, there is an adjustable knob that can adjust the temperature between 200 and 450 degrees Celsius. As for power usage, it uses around 110 volts and 60 watts, which basically means it's for America unless you have an adapter. Now really, for this $10 soldering iron review, all you really need to know is that it does actually work. I've soldered a a uh, few things with this actually and it works very well. This is my first soldering iron though so I don't know how well it would compare to a more expensive one but certainly for $10 it works and that's really all you need to know. Now for $10 I really didn't expect much more than just the soldering iron but when it arrived at my door I was kind of shocked to see that it actually came with five heads. One already installed and four in the box. Now personally, I think you're just going to use the default head that comes installed for most projects or basically all of them, but if you're going to be desoldering stuff with soldering wick, then using a larger head, they have some really big heads on this thing, will actually really help with that process. So if you want to change the heads, all you need to do is unscrew this stick, take the uh, head out, put a new one in, and screw it back in. It's pretty simple. Now the one thing that I noticed about this soldering iron that is not very good is this cable here. Uh, the problem I had was that I noticed there wasn't really anything holding this cable from twisting inside of this housing here. So I just added some duct tape to the cable here and to the housing here. So now when I twist this cable on the outside, it'll just twist this outside part and not the part that's in here, which will damage the actual soldering iron. But besides that, there's really no problem with this thing. It works really good. So I have links down below to where you can buy this exact soldering iron and the cheapest solder that I could find on eBay linked down below. So thanks for watching and go ahead and solder some things.